What's happening guys? Landon with LMR.com. Old Project Green Bean has now reached the fifth and final stage of the build, finally. Sorry to keep you guys waiting for so long, but the car does belong to an employee and summer activities kind of took over and you really can't beat family time. Furthermore, stage five covered the fuel pump, fuel rails, injectors, intake manifold, Plenivan throttle body, oh, and a 5.4 swap. On our second adventure to the track, the high mileage 4.6 let go on the first pass and we ended up with head gasket issues, which unfortunately got the number eight cylinder a tad too hot and it lost compression. Instead of building the 4.6, I myself actually had a built five four liter engine I was going to put in my Lightning, but figured what the hell. Let's put it in Project Green Bean. The engine itself is a stock bore, stock stroke 5.4 with manly rods and manly pistons. Now, since this was going in a Lightning, compression is eight and a half, but we plan on upping the ante later on down the road. The short block has a set of regular Trick Flow 44cc heads on it with custom ground stage three cams. I already had everything ready to go on the engine, so the only components really needed was pulleys, water pump, and a few other small things. Getting the 5.4 in the car was actually pretty straightforward. We disconnected a few electrical connections, heater hoses and radiator hoses, and then supported the K-member and transmission with jack stands. We removed the hardware securing the K-member, the spindle to outer tie rod hardware, and of course some drivetrain hardware so that the transmission would come out with the engine. The car was then lifted into the air so we could swap everything over from the 4.6 to the 5.4 with ease. Up first, we swapped our Flowmaster Shorty headers, which made it to the Trick Flow heads absolutely perfect. We then sourced a set of machined adapters to allow use of our 4.6 intake manifold on the 5.4. The manifold of choice was the Edelbrock Victor Jr., which actually is intended for a carbureted setup. A local machine shop provided an adapter plate, which allowed us to run our 75 millimeter SVE throttle body and plenum on the Victor Jr. intake manifold. The factory fuel rails were swapped with a pair of BBK high flow rails and the measly 19 pound stock injectors were tossed in the trash. In their place went a set of 30 pound injectors. We transferred the coil on plugs that were in the 4.6 to the 5.4 along with the factory intake elbow and the custom filter we had fabbed up previously. Back in the engine bay we tidied everything up, reconnected any wiring and topped off the coolant. The car took a few minutes to finally fire but when it did she sounded pretty damn healthy. The stage three cans were chopping and the more idle time the car had, the more the computer was able to pick up on the changes. Granted, we did use SCT software to write our own tune and make the necessary adjustments for the bigger injectors, cams, and more airflow. As it sits, guys, this for the most part is pretty much it. We will get it to the track and we will get you a time. Yeah, I know the eight and a half compression is a little weak, but that leaves us with something to think about later on down the road, whether or not boost is in Green Bean's future. Again, guys, this isn't it. All I can ask from you is to be patient. Of course, if you have any questions, drop us a comment below and we will get it answered up for you. We would also like to again, thank all of our supporting vendors for, all, for the awesome Go Fast goodies. Until next time, fellas, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep it right here with the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com. Thank <laughs> you.